a finite state machine or finite state automaton, or simply a state machine, is a mathematical model of computation used to design both computer programs and sequential logic circuits. It is conceived as an abstract machine that can be in one of a finite number of states. The machine is in only one state at a time, the state it is in at any given time is called the current state. It can change from one state to another when initiated by a triggering event or condition. This is called a transition. A particular FSM is defined by a list of its states and the triggering condition for each transition. The behavior of state machines can be observed in many devices in modern society that perform a predetermined sequence of actions depending on the sequence of events with which they are presented. Simple examples of vending machines, which dispense products when the proper combination of coins is deposited, elevators, which drop riders off its upper floors before going down, traffic lights, which change sequence when cars are waiting, and combination locks which require the input of combination numbers in the proper order. Finite state machines can model a large number of problems, among which are electronic design automation, communication protocol design, language parsing and other engineering applications. In biology and artificial intelligence research, state machines or hierarchies of state machines have been used to describe neurological systems. In linguistics, they are used to describe simple parts of the grammars of natural languages, considered as an abstract model of computation. The finite state machine is weak, it has less computational power than some other models of computation such as the Turing machine. That is, there are tasks that no FSM can do, but some Turing machines can. This is because the FSM memory is limited by the number of states. FSMs are studied in the more general field of automata theory. Example, coin-operated turnstile. An example of a very simple mechanism that can be modeled by a state machine is a turnstile. Initially, the arms are locked, blocking the entry, preventing patrons from passing through. Depositing a coin or token in a slot on the turnstile unlocks the arms, allowing a single customer to push through. After the customer passes through, the arms are locked again until another coin is inserted. Considered as a state machine, the turnstile has two states, locked and unlocked. There are two inputs that affect its state putting a coin in the slot and pushing the arm. In the locked state, pushing on the arm has no effect, no matter how many times the input push is given, it stays in the locked state. Putting a coin in, that is, giving the machine a coin input, shifts the state from locked to unlocked. In the unlocked state, putting additional coins in has no effect, that is, giving additional coin inputs does not change the state. However, a customer pushing through the arms, giving a push input, shifts the state back to locked. The turnstile state machine can be represented by a state transition table, showing for each state the new state and the output resulting from each input. It can also be represented by a directed graph called a state diagram. Each of the states is represented by a node. Edges show the transitions from one state to another. Each arrow is labeled with the input that triggers that transition. Inputs that don't cause a change of state are represented by a circular arrow returning to the original state. The arrow into the locked node from the black dot indicates that is the initial state. Concepts and Terminology a state is a description of the status of a system that is waiting to execute a transition. A transition is a set of actions to be executed when a condition is fulfilled or when an event is received. For example, when using an audio system to listen to the radio, receiving next stimulus results in moving to the next station. When the system is in the CD state, the next stimulus results in moving to the next track. Identical stimuli trigger different actions depending on the current state. In some finite state machine representations, it is also possible to associate actions with a state. Entry action, performed when entering the state. Exit action, performed when exiting the state. Representations, 
state event table several state transition table types are used the most common representation is shown below the combination of current state and input shows the next state the complete actions information is not directly described in the table and can only be added using footnotes a fsm definition including the full actions information is possible using state tables UML state machines The unified modeling language has a notation for describing state machines. UML state machines overcome the limitations of traditional finite state machines while retaining their main benefits. UML state machines introduce the new concept of hierarchically nested states and orthogonal regions, while extending the notion of actions. UML state machines have the characteristics of both Mealy machines and more machines. They support actions that depend on both the state of the system and the triggering event, as in Mealy machines, as well as entry and exit actions which are associated with states rather than transitions, as in more machines. SDL state machines The specification and description language is a standard from ITU that includes graphical symbols to describe actions in the transition, send an event, receive an event, start a timer, cancel a timer, start another concurrent state machine. Decision. SDL embeds basic data types called abstract data types, an action language, and an execution semantic in order to make the finite state machine executable. Other state diagrams There are a large number of variants to represent an FSM such as the one in Figure 3. Usage. In addition to their use in modeling reactive systems presented here, finite state automata are significant in many different areas including electrical engineering, linguistics, computer science, philosophy, biology, mathematics, and logic. Finite state machines are a class of automata studied in automata theory and the theory of computation. In computer science, finite state machines are widely used in modeling of application behavior, design of hardware digital systems software engineering, compilers, network protocols, and the study of computation and languages. Classification. The state machines can be subdivided into transducers, acceptors, classifiers, and sequences. Acceptors and recognizers acceptors produce a binary output, saying either yes or no to answer whether the input is accepted by the machine or not. All states of the FSM are said to be either accepting or not accepting. At the time when all input is processed, if the current state is an accepting state, the input is accepted, otherwise it is rejected. As a rule the input are symbols, actions are not used. The example in figure 4 shows a finite state machine that accepts the string, nice. In this FSM the only accepting state is number 7. The machine can also be described as defining a language, which would contain every string accepted by the machine but none of the rejected ones. We say then that the language is accepted by the machine. By definition, the languages accepted by FSMs are the regular languages, that is, a language is regular if there is some FSM that accepts it. The problem of determining the language accepted by a given FSA is an instance of the algebraic path problem, itself a generalization of the shortest path problem to graphs with edges weighted by the elements of an semi-ring. Start state The start state is usually shown drawn with an arrow, pointing at it from anywhere, p. 34. Accept states Accept states are those at which the machine reports that the input string, as processed so far, is a member of the language it accepts. It is usually represented by a double circle. The start state can also be an accepting state, in which case the automaton accepts the empty string. If the start state is not an accepting state and there are no connecting edges to any of the accepting states, then the automaton is accepting nothing. An example of an accepting state appears in Fig. 5, a deterministic finite automaton that detects whether the binary input string contains an even number of 0s. S1 indicates the state at which an even number of 0s has been input. 
S1 is therefore an accepting state. This machine will finish in an accept state, if the binary string contains an even number of 0 s. Examples of strings accepted by this DFA are epsilon, 1, 11, 11, 00, 010, 10110, etc. Classifier is a generalization that, similar to acceptor, produces single output when terminates but has more than two terminal states. Transducers Transducers generate output based on a given input and or a state using actions. They are used for control applications and in the field of computational linguistics. In control applications, two types are distinguished. More machine the FSM uses only entry actions, i.e., output depends only on the state. The advantage of the more model is a simplification of the behavior. Consider an elevator door. The state machine recognizes two commands, command underscore open and command underscore close, which trigger state changes. The entry action in state opening starts a motor opening the door. The entry action in state closing starts a motor in the other direction closing the door. States opened and closed stop the motor when fully opened or closed. They signal to the outside world the situation. Door is open or door is closed. Melee machine the FSM uses only input actions, i.e., output depends on input and state. The use of a melee FSM leads often to a reduction of the number of states. The example in figure 7 shows a melee FSM implementing the same behavior as in the more example. There are two input actions. Start motor to close the door if command underscore close arrives, and start motor in the other direction to open the door if command underscore open arrives. The opening and closing intermediate states are not shown. Generators The sequences or generators are a subclass of aforementioned types that have a single letter input alphabet. They produce only one sequence, which can be interpreted as output sequence of transducer or classifier outputs. Determinism A further distinction is between deterministic and non-deterministic automata. In deterministic automata, every state has exactly one transition for each possible input. In non-deterministic automata, an input can lead to one, more than one or no transition for a given state. This distinction is relevant in practice, but not in theory, as there exists an algorithm that can transform any NFA into a more complex DFA with identical functionality. The FSM with only one state is called a combinatorial FSM and uses only input actions. This concept is useful in cases where a number of FSM are required to work together, and where it is convenient to consider a purely combinatorial part as a form of FSM to suit the design tools. Alternative semantics There are other sets of semantics available to represent state machines. For example, there are tools for modeling and designing logic for embedded controllers. They combine hierarchical state machines, flow graphs, and truth tables into one language, resulting in a different formalism and set of semantics. Figure 8 illustrates this mix of state machines and flow graphs with a set of states to represent the state of a stopwatch and a flow graph to control the ticks of the watch. These charts, like Hale's original state machines, support hierarchically nested states, orthogonal regions, state actions, and transition actions. FSM logic. The next state and output of an FSM is a function of the input and of the current state. The FSM logic is shown in figure 8. Mathematical model. In accordance with the general classification, the following formal definitions are found. A deterministic finite state machine or accept a deterministic finite state machine is a quintuple, where, is the input alphabet, is a finite, non-empty set of states, is an initial state, an element if, is the state transition function, 
is the set of final states, a subset of, for both deterministic and non-deterministic FSMs, it is conventional to allow to be a partial function, i.e., does not have to be defined for every combination of an. If an FSM is in a state, the next symbol is an is not defined, then can announce an error. This is useful in definitions of general state machines, but less useful when transforming the machine. Some algorithms in their default form may require total functions. A finite state machine is a restricted Turing machine where the head can only perform read operations and always moves from left to right. A finite state transducer is a sextuple where is the input alphabet is the output alphabet is a finite, non-empty set of states, is the initial state, an element if, in a non-deterministic finite automaton, is a set of initial states, is the state transition function, is the output function. If the output function is a function of a state and input alphabet that definition corresponds to more model, and can be modeled as a more machine. A finite state machine with no output function at all is known as a semi-automaton or transition system. If we disregard the first output symbol of a more machine, then it can be readily converted to an output equivalent melee machine by setting the output function of every melee transition with the output symbol given of the destination more state. The converse transformation is less straightforward because a melee machine state may have different output labels on its incoming transitions. Every such state needs to be split in multiple more machine states, one for every incident output symbol. Optimization Optimizing an FSM means finding the machine with the minimum number of states that performs the same function. The fastest known algorithm doing this is the Hopcroft minimization algorithm. Other techniques include using an implication table or the more reduction procedure. Additionally, acyclic FSAs can be minimized in linear time. Implementation Hardware applications in a digital circuit, an FSM may be built using a programmable logic device, a programmable logic controller, logic gates and flip-flops or relays. More specifically, a hardware implementation requires a register to store state variables, a block of combinational logic that determines the state transition, and a second block of combinational logic that determines the output of an FSM. One of the classic hardware implementations is the Richards controller, a particular case of more FSM, when output is directly connected to the state flip-flops, that is when output function is simple identity, is known as Medvedev FSM. It is advised in chip design that no logic is placed between primary I.O. and registers to minimize inter-chip delays, which are usually long and limit the FSM frequencies. Through state encoding for low power state machines may be optimized to minimize power consumption. Software applications The following concepts are commonly used to build software applications with finite state machines. Automata-based programming. Event-driven FSM. Virtual FSM. State design pattern. Finite automata and compilers. Finite automata are often used in the front end of programming language compilers. Such a front end may comprise several finite state machines that implement a lexical analyzer and a parser. Starting from a sequence of characters, the lexical analyzer builds a sequence of language tokens from which the parser builds a syntax tree. The lexical analyzer and the parser handle the regular in context-free parts of the programming language's grammar. 